What is going on everyone? Derek here today bringing you another episode of Mustang Madness. This is the second one two weeks in a row we're back with this little series I know many of you love it and I, I personally love it seeing different perspectives on Mustangs and why they chose the route they did with their cars and with that though today's episode is definitely juicy for sure this is gonna be the first time where we have a couple on the channel with two builds two unique builds um, I've it's actually the first time I've seen them in person myself and I'm just so excited to share this with you guys and their story and whatnot so today we have Taylor and we have a lease before we jump into this and show you guys their s550s do me a favor drop a like up on this video every like counts it truly helps me and it'll just allow me to keep on going with this series so I know you guys like them What's up? Um, I'm Elise. Uh, this is my 2017 S550 EcoBoost. What's going on, guys? My name is Taylor, and this is my 2018 EcoBoost S550. How's everything been going? It's great. Pretty Just good, man. Continuing the builds. Nice. Very nice. This is the first time I've actually seen these cars in person. Um, I don't know how that's possible, but... Well, it's full bolt-on, um, upgraded intake. I have a air raid intake tube on here. I have the CV Fab um, intercooler, street intercooler. Um, the Turbo Smart 10 PSI wastegate, um, powder coated aluminum charge pipes, um, turbo back exhaust on it. It is Pro Tune, Trans Tune, and I'm actually running um, E30 right now as well. They're the Odd Hans. They are 20 by 9 in the front and 20 by 10 and a half in the rear with 255s up front and 305s in the rear. So it's the magnetic metallic. It's actually one of my personal favorites as far as Mustangs. My first Mustang was a 2002 and it was mineral gray. So it's very It's very similar. close. Yeah, yep. It's very similar. No, it looks awesome, especially with this. Um, wheel and tire setup the color and I see you got some tin on here what do we have like 15% uh, 20% 20% and then a 5% strip on the windshield okay it's the basically knockoff version of the RTR grill um, it did light up at one point in time um, for about two weeks solid the first grill that I put in here it lit up and it got water in one of the lights so I decided to buy a second one and the second one ended up doing the exact same thing. So plan on doing a GT350 front bumper on this. Oh, that's gonna look really good. That's yeah. definitely my favorite on the S550s yeah, that's, for that's sure. If I owned one, that was like the one modification that is a absolute must right out the gate is a 350 front Probably bumper. Before Mustang week, it's going on there. So we'll see. This is the uh, GT350R wing and then I have the Drake muscle um, deck lid and then the boosted emblem is from late model restoration. So my exhaust is a mutt. I love it. So I have the CV Fabrication Catalyst Downpipe, I have the Flowmaster Y Pipe, and then I have the Next Step Axle Back. So it's just, it's a mutt going on of exhaust. And a lot of people tell me, they're like, dude, your exhaust sounds freaking awesome. And I'm like, you know what? Is this a lot of the products you have on the car? Yeah. Nice, very clean. Glad I under here. Oh yeah, it looks really good. Very clean. Um, in September, I will have it for two years. Two years so. in September. Yep. So I have to ask, what made you go EcoBoost and S550 at that? I have loved Mustangs ever since I have been able to pronounce the word, to be completely honest. Um, I love turbo cars. I have always had a love for turbo cars, so once I found out that Ford made a Mustang, which is my favorite car in the entire world, and slapped a turbo on it. I was like, dude, I've got to have it. I know that they're really iffy. You know, we got the whole eco boom thing going on. You know, if it's not built correctly, yeah, I mean, stuff can go wrong. But if you do things the way that it's supposed to be done and you're safe about it, they're very reliable and very quick cars. So, three things you absolutely love about it, and three things you despise and would want to change. Go. Three things I absolutely love. Obviously the look of it. Um, I love the S550. It's probably one of my favorite body styles of the Mustang. My second favorite is a New Edge. That was my first Mustang, so I do love the New Edge. Um, I love the sound of it. For a four cylinder, it is a amazing sound. Um, and third thing is just the torque, dude. The torque on an EcoBoost, once you start doing things to it, it is, it is, it's not matched. It's crazy. Three things I hate about it. Um, I constantly have boost leaks. Um, 
I am constantly chasing misfires. And I guess just the fear of building it, knowing that one day eventually something is going to happen, but that's with any car that you start adding any power out Exactly, so, yep. You know. Definitely seems, you you know, you had a vision with the car, and um, it has, you know, it has a look that I personally have never gone for, but I do like. You guys know I'm black wheels, kind of like Taylor's here. Yeah. That's kind of like the, you know, the color scheme I would go with, but something about this color, these wheels, even the purple calipers, it really does give it a super clean look. And it's definitely a look I can respect. So it's a lot of people, you know, they'll say, oh, it's EcoBoost, blah, blah, blah. But, you know, she definitely has, you know, the story behind it to where she loves turbo cars and it's perfect, honestly. So very nice. Future plans, what, you, what do you have planned? A lot. So um, in the future, I know this motor's not going to last forever, especially if I keep pushing it. So I plan to do a built long block in the future, built internals. I plan to go with a BNR, uh, what is it, a 64? 600. 600s uh, turbo, sorry. And then go on uh, a meth injection setup, and I'm pushing for anywhere from six to 800 horsepower. I mean, I know that's a broad, wide span, but I, I like to drive this car. I want to be able to drive it every day. So I'd be happy, honestly, with anywhere from a five to 600 wheel horsepower car just to be able to drive on a daily basis, so. Definitely see that happening because you work with Evan and you're, you're, you're in the shop getting dirty and stuff, aren't yeah, you? I Where do you work Evan. at? I work at Toyota. Toyota so. and you're a tech there, right? I am. That's awesome. So I'm assuming you did pretty much all this to your car? I, every single thing that has been done to this car, I've done myself, so. That's awesome. What do you think, Taylor? You want to show us around your 2018? And sure, let's do it. Let's do it, man. What made you get into this? You can't copy her either, because <laughs> everybody's story is so, different. My parents, when I was growing up, had countless Mustangs, GTCS. Uh, my dad had a 35th anniversary with a stalker package on it. Um, I wish that I could find that car, but it's probably gone forever. My parents bought a um, blue 2018, and I test drove it, and I was looking, I was actually going to get an ST, and uh, test drove theirs, and I was like, this is awesome. So I was shopping around, and... Here we are, we got this one. Uh, the wheels, we got 20 inch Verde Axises wrapped in Firehawk Indy 500. I actually had those wheels yeah. on, on Ballista for one I day. I for a trade, a uh, guy had a uh, silver EcoBoost, his name is T, T Roll, Rolly. Anyway, he liked my uh, performance package wheels, so we just switched and I wrapped them in Firehawks. You got those for PP wheels? Yeah. <laughs> no kidding, that's a come up. I see you got this painted. Or wrapped. wrapped. Okay, wrapped. but so anyway, what made you do that? That's the first time I've seen it. It actually looks really so good. So I had been contemplating it, but I didn't uh, want to go into the labor of it. So two months ago, a guy in Arizona, his car made the front page of American Muscle. And he had just those done. I was like, that's it. I went with all of these things without buying the GT500 bumper because I want the GT500 bumper, but my driveway will not allow that to happen. Mm, okay. Uh, it's like this. So anyway, I was like, what can I do to this front end to make it look as mean as it can do, or as mean as it can be? So I wrapped the uh, little bezels here, tinted the ambers on the side, uh, added these uh, wing winglets. And I see um, you did the wrap down there too. Yeah, wrap down there, wrap the chin, went with the MMD split spoiler on the front splitter, uh, the MMD grill, and the badge to uh, kind of resemble a GT350. All right, so we have the UPR downpipe catless to a three inch uh, catback MBRP race, and there's three exhausts that you can go with. There's a CCG, the Tomai, which is almost like two grand, and then you got the MBRP race, which runs about 700 shipped. And I have no regrets with the MBRP race. It sounds awesome. So, for a four cylinder turbo car. Yeah, you guys, let me know though. Which one is your favorite? Comment down below. Also, drop a like up on this video. You got the red, the black, we have the gray with the polished. Two different looks, but both look incredible.
we just got a look at Elise's 2017 S550 EcoBoost. Beautiful car, and honestly, I, I think it's the first EcoBoost on the channel. S550 at that, and again, probably one of my first times ever really seeing the car in person. So it's definitely gorgeous. It's really nicely done. Love the color scheme on it. So if you guys want to go check her out on Instagram, the Instagram is Low Eco. Hey, got Instagram? Yes, Mills underscore SVO. If you guys want to go check them out, ask them any questions EcoBoost related, they're the people that got it. Five hours a question, go through my PayPal first, drop a like up on this video, and um, am I forgetting something? But until next time, we'll see you later.